he is known as a man in the shadows of Iranian politics. Yet Mr. Mochtaba Khamenei has a powerful influence over a country that rarely sees or hears him. For years, the son of Iran's supreme leader has been speculated to be a potential candidate to succeed his father, Mr. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. That speculation has grown with the death of Iran's president, Mr. Abraham Raisi, who many analysts said was being groomed to replace the supreme leader. Who is 85? Mr. Raisi's death in a helicopter crash on May 19 will not only trigger new presidential elections. It could also shift the dynamics around the selection of the Ayatollah's replacement. When people started talking about Mochtaba as a potential successor in 2009, I considered it a cheap rumor, said Dr. Arosh Azizi, a lecturer at Clemson University who focuses on Iran. But it's not that anymore. It's very clear now that he is a remarkable figure. And he's remarkable because he's been almost entirely invisible in the public eye. Yet a growing number within Iran's political establishment have begun to publicly endorse him. Added Dr. Azizi. Mr. Mochtaba Khamenei, 55, is the second son of the Ayatollah's six children. A conservative hardliner, he grew up in the clerical and political elite of the Islamic Republic. Established in 1979 and later fostered ties within the powerful Revolutionary Guard. Today, he is believed to play a critical role in running his father's office. But many Iran experts dismiss the idea that the Ayatollah's own son could replace him as a danger to the system. Since the 1979 revolution, deposed Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, a small group of Shiite clerics that run Iran have held far more power than elected officials. But a foundational principle of the Islamic Republic was that it ended hereditary rule. If the supreme leader turns into a hereditary system, what does that mean? It means the system is dead, said Mr. Muhammad Ali Shabani, an Iran analyst and editor of M-Watch, an independent online media outlet that focuses on Iran, Iraq and the Arabian Peninsula. Mr. Mochtaba Khamenei teaches at Iran's largest seminary, in Qom, but other religious leaders have disputed his credentials. He has not achieved a high rank within the Shiite clerical hierarchy. Something long seen as necessary for taking on the role of supreme leader. Where he seems adept, however, is in political maneuvering. A veteran of the iran iraq war, Mr. Khamenei became a friend of his fellow soldier Hossein Tape, who later became leader of the Revolutionary Guards paramilitary unit, the Basich, and later led its intelligence forces for many years. Mr. Khamenei is believed to have other high-level links to Iran's security apparatus as well. Dr. Azizis said, Mr. Khamenei was accused by Iranian reformists of playing a significant role in the 2005 election of Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, a hardline populist who unexpectedly beat the leading candidates at the time. In 2009, after Mr. Ahmadinejad's re-election against reformist leader Mihossein Mousavi, anti-government protests swept the country. Responding to Mr. Khamenei's suspected role in the election, as well as rumours of his succession, some opposition activists chanted, Mochtaba, may you die and not become supreme leader. Then, in 2022, in another wave of anti-government protests, Musavi, who has been under house arrest since 2011, called on Mr. Ali Khamenei to dispel the rumours about his son succeeding him. The Ayatollah did not respond then. But earlier this year, he did. Cleric Mahmoud Mohammadi Aragi, a member of the Assembly of Experts that selects the Supreme Leader, told the state-affiliated news agency ILNA that Ali Khamenei was vehemently opposed to his son being considered. The Assembly of Experts must unanimously select the Supreme Leader. 
Until then, they could choose a three- or five-member leadership council to run the country. Ultimately, the fate of any potential successor lies within an opaque system that critics say has only become less transparent in recent years. The reality is that nobody knows, Mr. Shaboni said. And that is crazy. There is zero transparency on a process that affects millions of Iranians.